We have Jonathan Carvalho from the Bedford Public Schools. Uh, you, you are the spokesperson for Dr. Pia Durkin, is that correct? I am the spokesperson for all of our school system. All right. And you, ha <laughs> you have a response to the, the four teachers that were just sitting in the studio? Right. Well, what uh, my response is that I hope any teacher with any, or any faculty member with a concern is going to come to their principal, whether it's to their union, whether it's to what's called a faculty advisory committee, which all of our 26 schools have. So they, they um, did say that they had gone to their principal. Yeah, they said that they did well, and nothing happened. Well, here's one of my concerns, because I actually went through hundreds of pages of advisory committee reports this weekend to check on these things. Uh, I could not find almost any of the items they were discussing in those reports. And what the faculty advisory committee is, it's a group of teachers at each school that meets with the principal and brings all the concerns of any of the teachers to the principal because they're important to us and we want to deal with them right away. Yeah. And those concerns can be things as small. One of them at the high school was students are bringing bags of chips from the cafeteria into class and eating chips in class. So it's not that. Do you, do you they think they're making up these big, stories? That, that's not what I'm saying, but I'm just saying I hope that any of these concerns will be reported because the concerns that I heard on the air, most of them I could not find in any of our reports. They so said that they, they were afraid of repercussions, though, like like the, the woman who had that chair thrown at her last year by a student. She had to go through a disciplinary hearing, and I think that, that they were saying that they were concerned about reporting something, well, and now, we, now all of a sudden they're being disciplined. Right, well, there certainly wouldn't be any repercussions against teachers. Again, like I just said... But you would think that, but then that wasn't what happened last year. Right. Well, there's 26, like I said, faculty advisory committees, and there are reports at every single school, so there certainly aren't repercussions. But, every, you know, that's just not... Accurate. But you, can you understand why they'd be fearful of that? What I can't understand is why they wouldn't report it to, A, their colleagues, which is the faculty advisory, B, their union, C, their principal... But or D, the administration. That's what I can't quite come to terms with. Because if you have a problem, you need to come forward and bring it to the principal. To but the when, when that woman last faculty. year did, she had the I'm disciplinary not, I'm talking about this year. But, well, well, but I, I can I, see I why someone would think that, though. I wasn't though. here last year, and I don't think that's accurate, but I can't really No, that's 100% accurate. That's fact. I mean, when that happened, there was a disciplinary hearing, Jonathan. Hello? There was a disciplinary hearing for that, that teacher last Wait, year. Well, all, all I can, can, can you see why that would be a deterrent for people to come forward and, and talk about attacks this year? What I can't see is why that would be a deterrent to uh, report to your administration what's happening. So I really? can't really. And, and so, what the, so other, problem, and, and what the you, other problem is, if I, can, if I can be frank, I'm not sure that these people were, were teachers only because I'm wondering... I don't, they you don't, don't think these were people were teachers? Oh, wow. Well, well, what I'm saying is, you know, when, when someone isn't identified in the media, it's, you know, very difficult to determine who they are or where they work. But one of the problems... So are you, are you questioning my integrity? Are you saying I that... Am, I am absolutely not. But what I'm asking, I'm saying that I don't know if they were teachers at New Bedford High School. Because, I didn't say they were teachers from New Bedford High School. I said they were from the New Bedford School District. Well, what, well, what they, happened, they were not all from the same school. Could I just have one second? Sure. You, you're, it's your floor. Okay. Well, what I'm saying is I'm not sure that these people were teachers at New Bedford High School because they were talking about things going on in the Gold House at New Bedford High School. So that, you know, led me to think that they were saying they were teachers from New Bedford High. The Gold House is not closed. I'm not sure what this... So these... This doesn't seem to be... You know, that's also not accurate. That was so there are no fights was, going on in the Gold House? There are fights at every high school in America, but my, my point is that the Gold House is not closed, which is one of the things that was said on the air. So I'm just not sure, you know, where, where these teachers would be from. I'm, I just don't, some of the pieces aren't fitting together. Mm. But so, talking but a you, lot about incidents going on at the high school, but yet they're also saying the Gold House is closed, which isn't true. So that to me... No, I think I, think I said that. Anyway. So the, the Gold House is not closed? That's correct. The Gold House is not closed. Okay. Are there parts of the high school that are closed? No. Oh, Okay. So that's what's concerning me is that some of the things that were said on the air are just not true. And then what the other thing that concerns me is that even when you have an anonymous claim of something negative going on at the high school, that automatically makes the news. And then we have verified claims of all the positive things that happened at the high school. And 
you know, none of that makes the news. Well, you I think weren't there when we had the National Honor Society. And well, that's not. I mean, when when you know, you there there are high the schools and every high school in America has a National Honor Society. That's not news. Absolutely true. But every high school in America, I will also guarantee you, has school fights. I'm not so sure about that. Not not to this level. Yeah, uh-huh. not. I don't. To and and I, I think also not with with uh, teachers getting attacked. That, that does right. not what happen. What I'm saying about that is we want our schools to be the safest environment for our teachers, for our kids, for our families who come in. And what I'm also saying is I hope that they'll be reported, you know, properly, whether it's to their fellow faculty, whether it's to their union, or whether it's to their principal. Because the number one thing any principal wants is to have a safe school environment. No principal. Oh, I'm sure. I mean, look, listen, I think everybody's got the same goal here. But I, I do think it's amazing that you can't see that... When a chair gets thrown at a teacher and they report that to the, the to the to their uh, advisors or whoever it is the the principal the authorities, and then there's a disciplinary action on that teacher, I cannot imagine how you can't see that that's a deterrent for other teachers to report well, attacks well, like what that. What I'm just saying is that there are meetings every month between the union, between the administration, and then again, like I said, at the school level, where the teachers meet with their faculty, fellow teachers and the principal and report every kind of issue under the sun, like I said, from kids congregating in a stairwell at dismissal time to bringing chips to class. So, you know, when... This is a lot more than bringing chips to class. Yeah, I I I definitely is. I agree, and that's what my problem is, is that when I read these reports, the type of things that you were talking about were not in them. All right, so so is your stance... If they're bringing concerns as small as chips, I I believe they would bring bigger concerns. See, I don't believe that. There are some bigger concerns that are brought. So your your stance example, is you so think that these stories are are bunk. I can't confirm that. I don't. But I that's don't your know. gut. You but you just don't saying, believe I'm, it. I'm not saying my gut, but I'm saying that they haven't been reported. And that is concerning. So I hope that any safety concerns will be reported to the principal. And that's all I can say. With, with all due respect, I, I think it, you're I think you're problem. operating in complete and total denial. Complete and total denial. I don't think I've denied anything. No, I, I'm saying I think you're operating under complete and total denial. Like it, it's, it's, it just feels like you're sticking your head in the sand. I'm, Hear I'm no evil, is, see no evil. It's not happening. No, what I'm saying is, you know, any of these concerns need to be brought to the principal. I, but I what? How any I think any reasonable person could see well, why these why teachers are not doing it. Yeah. You take care. So, all right. <laughs> okay. Thanks all for. Right, we do thank you for calling the show. I don't get it. It is.